Hi everyone, I'm Yansh, the guy behind OCCT. Let me start by wishing you a very happy new year 2022 with lots of health, wealth and happiness. I've been waiting forever before making this video and I'm really happy I can finally make it. I feel what I'm announcing is huge, it was lots of work on my side for like 6 months but I'm finally there and I can finally show you what I have in store. But before doing so, I want to show you quickly how OCCT evolved through the years. Alright, let me show you one of the first versions of OCCT, which is OCCT v0.91. This version is actually 18 years old. And amazingly, despite displaying an error, it still works. I'm amazed. And the interface is interesting to say the least. The basic idea was to look like a CPU, a Pentium 4 at that time, and I actually did it. I mean, that thing was supposed to run on Windows XP and 2K, and uh, remember how the interfaces were at that time? Yeah, well, and remember, I was actually a student when I did that. I was learning programming. So this is one of the first versions of OCCT with a basic CPU test. It was nothing fancy, but it really got popular and it's the first version that got spread through forums and stuff and uh, I mean it's a, it actually saw quite a lot of downloads. A few years later I rewrote it from scratch and this is how it looks like. You can already see I choose red for my main team and uh, it's always still displaying actually meaningful system information here. Um, it's surprising and it was still dedicated to CPU so this is like three years later I was still considering OCCT as a hobby at the time and uh, it's only much later that I uh, started to realize it could be my main job. Next it's a version that was released right after my daughter was born still that gorgeous loading screen I'm actually pretty uh, pretty nostalgic of that loading screen. So yeah, um, this version was one of the last, if not the last one of that branch and was around for quite a while, just because my kids were born. Uh, I have three kids, including twins, and twins are a lot of work. So when you have so much work to do, well, the hobby goes on the side, you know, you're not working on it anymore. So um, this version actually has five tests, including a CUDA test, which isn't displayed here because I'm not properly detecting uh, CUDA here for uh, video memory, but you still have the signature uh, CPU test and uh, the GPU test, which got me famous when back then it discovered the design flow in AMD's latest graphic cards for people who remember. That's what earned me the um, nickname Power Virus at that time and still plaguing me actually. And the power supply, which was already a combination of CPU and a 3D test. So yeah, this version was around for a while and development starting from this version kind of stopped. Um, it was released in 2010 and uh, then six, seven years later, I rewrote it from scratch. Um, due to uh, colleagues at work that actually talked me into it. Dries Mathieu, yeah, you were the ones. And I came up with OCCT5, which is the foundation for all the OCCT's version you actually see uh, right now. The auto update is still working. And um, it was more basic, it has only four tests, it's well, lots of animations actually, but they were actually slowing down things more than just eye candy. And anyway, um, it's a foundation of every version uh, I've made. A year ago, I switched to full time in OCCT and um, it was a wonderful time. I mean, I've never worked that much on uh, OCCT. I developed lots of new features. Uh, you got the memory test, you've got the benchmark, um, new monitoring engine, you've got lots of things. And it was a tremendous time. And uh, meanwhile, I was working the background in some new features. And that is our next topic. All right, so I'm really happy to announce OCCT v11 and present you the new features. 
The first one is actually a new 3D test and this was a lot of work, really. It's six months research. For real. I mean, this is huge because I can say right now, you will never need 3D Mark for stability testing, ever. I've listened to you. Um, you were not liking my current 3D test because it was too heavy. Well, right now, this is a thing of the past. The new 3D test is Unreal Engine based because there is nothing better than a game engine to have a game like load, you know. And it features a fixed or an adaptive load. The load will vary from game-like, which is pretty light, to full torture. And you can choose to run a game-like load forever for your gaming needs, or you can choose to run a torture-like load for your stability needs if you want to go all out. And you can also have the test vary between the two. And that is huge, because you can test your whole GPU curve using your own pace with a click of a button. Also, I've revamped the error detection mechanism and it is lighter and more effective. I mean, it's the best out there. I'm pretty sure there is nothing that can compete. It was lots of work with compute shaders. It was a lot of fun, a lot of headaches as well. And also, it still works with displayless GPUs for everyone which is um, testing GPUs dedicated to mining. No biggies. It still works just as my current test. All right, so here are some graphs showing how my GPU test now performs. As you can see here, there is a little spike at the beginning. That is the test initialization. It's loading its stuff. And then I've configured it to run really slow and ramp up here really fast, but just to have a nice curve to show you, but you can actually select it to, to be like one minute at the same load and increase every minute or every 10 seconds, you decide. And uh, it's increasing in load here constantly. And when it reaches the top, it will go down and start again. So this is testing your world GPU curve. As you can see, the clocks here are reaching a peak, which is my game-like clock. This is actually generated on my uh, RTX 3080. So uh, you can see it reaching here, which is pretty soon, game-like clocks, which are the top clocks I've configured. And then it's going down because the load is too heavy and it's protecting itself using OCP and uh, overcurrent protection. The temperature is building up, the power consumed is building up, but the frequency is going down. And this is huge. Especially because every time it increases the load or it modifies the load, it doesn't reset error detection. Error detection is still running in the background. So you're not losing anything by switching quickly um, the load here. And this is huge. No more 3D mark for testing your 3D car. This is big. And with a click of a button, I'm really happy about it, really. This is tremendous. And I expect everyone to enjoy it and uh, I'm really eager to finish it because there is still some UI stuff to build and testing to be done. Of course, this isn't available right now. It will be in the future. And uh, I'm really excited about it. All right, the next big thing with OCC TV 11 is the stability certificate. Here, really, unstable overclocks will be sorry. Really. This thing will prove your computer is stable. Do you want to prove your friends that your overclock is stable? Do you want to prove your customer if you're resetting your computer that it is resetting fine? Or if you're professional before sending your, comp your computer to a customer, prove it, it has undergone some testing and that it was working fine when you shipped it. Well, this thing is for you. Basic idea is to run predefined test schedules with different levels. What I'm thinking right now is bronze for one hour, silver for two hours, gold for four hours, platinum for eight, and diamond for 24 hours. Those will be predefined test schedules per component, CPU, memory, and 
eventually, and I hope I will be able to release it for V11 for the whole computer. And it will just chain test. For instance, for CPU, I will first start with uh, uh, an AV AVX2 large test for all cores and do single core testing and so on. Memory will switch between AVX and SSC to test all scenarios. Um, the 3D test will test the whole curve, will go all out for a certain period of time. Those are going to be fixed tests that you can undergo. They will be successful only if no error is detected. It will fail otherwise. And if you can pass the test, you will have a link that will be generated, which will lead towards my website, OCBase, with a report which is going to look much like my benchmark report, but saying, I certify your computer is stable. You will have benchmark scores, of course, and you will have access to all the monitoring information and system information that was gathered when the test was running. So this is big. Again, this is the second thing that no one is doing. If you look at CPU-Z database, the overclocks there are stable enough to take a screenshot when Windows boots, which unstable uh, overclocks can achieve that easily. This is going to kill them. They're never going to be able to, to withstand that. Same thing with um, LN2 overclocks or Sub-Zero overclocks. Um, they are not designed to, uh, to last long, so they won't be able to pass that. So with this, we will have meaningful information about the real overclocking capabilities of CPUs, how high they can get realistically. And also, you will have a, tool, a powerful tool to prove that the thing you're selling is running fine. Do you want to sell your whole CPU, your whole computers on eBay? Ship it with a certificate, so there will be no question asked. I mean, it's stable. I've been doing stability for 18 years, so yeah, you can certify using OCCT. Things are stable, and you can prove it using a link. So that's awesome. Really, that's awesome. I've been creeping towards that goal. I've had that goal in mind since I created OCCT, and I'm really happy I can finally achieve it. This is big again. I'm really, really, really excited. The next thing OCCT v11 will bring, and that is due to popular demand because people were actually asking me lots of questions about it, instead of having OCCT personal, which is without a license and with a license, I will split that in two. You will have OCCT free, which is free, and OCCT personal now. OCCT free is our DNA, my DNA. I will always have a free version. That is without question. There will always be a free version. OCCT Personal, also due to popular demand, we now use Patreon. Um, this makes things much easier for you and for me as well. It allows me to bring you instant access as I have instant confirmation from Patreon that everything is in order and I can deliver OCCT Personal to you. No more waiting for emails. New features will be exclusive to OCCT Personal for a time. And of course, existing licenses are still valid. You have a license that is working now. It will work with OCCT Personal V11. No problem. A deal is a deal. As long as your license is valid, it will work with OCCT Personal. I'm not cutting the old scheme. I'm not here to scam anyone. Of course, for OCCT Pro and Enterprise, there will be no change. Um, it's hard for uh, corporate users to use Patreon. It's not something which they are used to using. So I will keep PayPal or credit card mechanism for that. So that you will still have to wait for your email. Sorry, I, I need the bank to check everything. Everything is in order before delivering your license, but that's only 20 minutes and it's working really well right now. So there is no need to change any of that. So OCCT Pro and Enterprise will stay the same. There are no changes. Of course, they will enjoy the new features that I just unveiled here. All right, so when is all that going to be available? By the end of February 2022. I'm working a lot, I think it's 50 to 60 hours per week right now to ensure you can enjoy the feature as soon as possible and keep 
and the quality uh, as high as possible as I've always strived to do all, uh, all throughout the years on OCCT. So uh, the wait is not going to be long anymore. I'm really excited and I, I want to release that thing. I've dreamed about this version for so long, you know. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope uh, I will see you again soon, um, probably upon releasing OCCT V11. And uh, again, I wish you a happy new year 2022.